it finally cut off that time. Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. Huh, what a crazy day. This morning has been an insane morning, but at least I made it to the bus to get ready to travel. Going over to Wintook or the country of Namibia. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher it, but anyway, let's uh, Let's go get on the bus. We got a really, really long journey up ahead, and yo, let's get this video started. A quick pit stop. Okay, a couple hours later, here's another stop. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks stunning out here. Yeah, they gotta put some gas in the bus. Another pit stop. Wow, check out the truck of logs there. Wow, it's so clear right now. Once again, getting gas one more time. The border is super, super close. Maybe 20 minutes away, and then we'll have to go through a checkpoint, get the passport stamped, and then another maybe two or three hour journey to Windhoek from the border. Time to fill out some customs forms here. This is a arrival form for Namibia. And here is a exit form for Basona. So I'm gonna knock these out really fast. All right, at the border now, I was just wondering, what happens if you just walk like a couple kilometers that way and then try to walk across? Border crossing really fast. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hi. Okay, just crossed the border, so I guess I'm sort of in this international zone right now. Not exactly in a country, so if I died right here, right now, what, what country would I have died in? Wow, that border crossing, that, that checkpoint there was intense so it really wasn't busy when we first arrived our bus pulled up about maybe 30 or 40 people got off the bus and you know everyone was in a line so you could you could tell that when we first walked in it was only three people in line it was like this um it was this white family it's like the dad it looked like he had like two teenage kids and i was at the back of the line and as soon as i got up to the front and as I'm walking up towards like the front, I get my passport stamped and go through and they're still standing there. So I wonder what was what was up. It actually kind of took me a minute. Like they were just going through my passport and they were just reading different things in my passport. So like in the US passport, they have all these different sayings here, like on every page, like here. So this lady like went through and like read every single one and basically just took her time and I was thinking like wow I wonder what's up with those people what's taking them so long you know because I was in there for like 45 minutes at least uh you speak English yes. yeah you're not looking for a ride to Kukubabe. no 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 I take the bus the bus yeah I'm going to Winter. oh you, there is a bus straight uh, to Winter. yeah yeah we're just going through the border and just crossing over we get on the bus over here yeah, it, we had to get off here and then we go through immigration on this side and this side and then get back on the bus. Uh, okay, take care. Wow, that's a cool border. <laughs> wow, I tell you, lots and lots of friendly people around here. Now, earlier, when we were arriving here, you know, we're, we're taking this road and it's nothing but just green 
all around like it's just flat and it's green and then we pull up to this area and you see all these barbed wire fences but it's only in like this area and this area over here so what i was talking about earlier like what if someone just like walked like hella far that way and just walked straight across into namibia i mean i'm pretty sure people do that like all the time like someone must have done that before it's not what i want to do but it's I'm, I'm pretty sure someone has come up with this idea this is kind of a far walk Am I even going the right way? I must be going the right way. Another border crossing day. So this morning, I didn't even talk about my morning because it was, it was intense. So I had to catch the bus at 7 a.m. And I really don't exactly like catching buses at 7 a.m. because I have to get up really early. And if I don't know exactly how to get there, like I just stress out even more and more. Oh, there's my friend again. And especially when I'm in a new place and like I have to go to a bus terminal and I've never been to that bus terminal. And then once I get to the bus terminal, I have to find out which bus to take. And I was thinking about all that this morning. So I was up at 5 a.m. and I had a ride scheduled, okay? My ride was supposed to drop me off at the bus stop at 6.15. So that way I would have 45 minutes to figure out where to go and figure out what to do and figure out not to get left, right? <laughs> I ended up showing up to the bus station like seven minutes before the bus left. Everything worked out, everything worked out, but I was just sweating bullets. Like it was just mad traffic. Like we turn off this street, there's more traffic. We turn off that street, there's more traffic. And I'm thinking, well, once I get there, I'm still gonna have to find the bus. But you know, it all worked out, it all worked out. And I was just in a rush, I was in a hurry. I didn't even vlog any of that because I just wanted to get on the bus and get over across the border <sighs> almost there we gotta walk this is kind of far actually i mean this is far enough to get a ride i see more people walking there are more people from the bus there and there's more people from the bus down here because who else would be walking around here most people would come in a car and they're going to be in the car but when you get off the bus the bus waits over there and then it drives over and picks everyone else up on this side of the border on the nippy inside <laughs> What is on that truck? All sorts of random stuff. Cattle country, please keep it clean. Will do, will do. This looks like the... This looks like the place I need to be. Okay, so another border crossing. Let's see what this one's all about. I just guess this will this border crossing will be much shorter than the other border crossing okay here is my passport here and i see a lot of south african stickers on the left side and over here on the right side this is this new stamp for namibia they, they give you like two stamps it takes up quite a bit of room in your passport i'm not definitely not complaining about the space it takes up in my passport because i have the 52 book page the 52 page book <laughs> the nibby inside was a whole lot faster i was inside for like like two minutes but the guy asked me he's like where are you going i said i'm going to windhook and over to i said swakapoon and he corrected me and he said no it's swakapoon or swaka he's something else but he said it with like a mad attitude he was like so how long are you going to be here for and i said two weeks ideally i would rather for them to just go ahead and give me three months now so i can stay like longer than two weeks but i guess i have to leave within two weeks and then i can come back but basically we get like 90 days per year so if i stay for two weeks and leave that's subtract 19 we'll have to i'll have to subtract 14 days off of the 90 days but i don't think i'll have to do any of that because i I probably won't come back, but I, I don't know. There's the bus. Let's get back on the bus. Let's keep this adventure going. For some reason, this looks like a tent should be here. I'm not having the best border day. So, <laughs> before we get back, before we get back on the bus, you have to like show your passport to like an officer to make sure that you got your passport stamped. And when I did that. 
they ask me so many freaking questions they i had to empty out i had to empty out my pockets have to empty out like everything in my bag they was going through my jackets like i think it's the hair maybe it's like maybe they think i'm like a rastafarian or something just because like the hair i've noticed in Botswana, i didn't see hardly anyone with dreadlocks and the last time i was in winhook i don't exactly remember seeing like anyone either but in south africa it's a very very popular thing i guess here it's far more conservative Shh. yes 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 finally off the bus now back in Wintook. i'm just gonna walk like maybe two more blocks and then take a quick taxi over to the backpacker destination I was gonna stay at this really sick Airbnb, but instead of staying at that Airbnb, I said to myself, let's go stay at a hostel because I've been staying at an Airbnb for like the past like week plus, and it has been, it's been kind of quiet. It hasn't been like, it hasn't been a lot of people around. So let's go over to the backpack hostel and see what's going on there. Maybe, maybe there was a cookout, maybe there was a pool party, maybe there's nothing going on, maybe there's people drinking, maybe there's people playing board games. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's a really good place to get robbed, actually. <laughs> right here. Uh. Alright, I may be a fool here, but uh, instead of taking a taxi, I'm just gonna walk to the backpacker destination. Who knows, I might, I might, I might, I might die and get robbed. But, uh, meanwhile, let's figure this out. 